Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Before sharing a document, you'll want to make sure it doesn't include any information you want to keep private. Now, whenever you create or edit a, do a document, certain personal information may be added to the file automatically. For example, information about the document's other, and you can use the document inspector in Word to hide this. So to use document inspector, click the file tab to go to the backstage view. Then from the info pane, click check for issues, then select inspect document from the drop down arrow menu. So select this, click no, I've already saved my changes. Now document inspector will appear. Check or uncheck the boxes depending on the content you want to review, then click inspect. So in my example, I'll leave everything checked, then I'll click inspect. Then after the inspection, results will show, the inspection results will show an exclamation mark for any categories where it found potentially sensitive data. So like over here, there's an exclamation mark and the following document information was found, document properties and others. So this is very sensitive for me. So I will click remove all to remove all that. Then once I'm done, I'll click close. So when I'm sharing that file or that data, um, it won't show those information about my document. Now you can also protect your, doc your document. Um, by default, anyone with access to your document will be able to open, copy and edit its content unless you protect it. Now there are several ways to protect a document depending on your needs. So to protect your document, click the file tab to go to back the view. So let's say you're back here again, you will click on file tab, backstage view again. Then from the info pane, click the protect document command. And you'll have this drop down menu. Now from here, you can choose the option that best suits your needs. So these markers final, encrypted a password, restrict editing, restrict access, add a you can do whatever you want. So for us, I'll select markers final. Then click OK. Another dialog box will appear. Click OK. And this document has been marked as final to discourage editing. So that's how you restrict access. But marking a document as final will not actually prevent others from editing it because they can just select edit anyway. If you want to prevent people from editing the document, you can use the restrict access option instead. So if I come get it down again, I can use this restrict access option and people won't be able to edit your documents.